Hey guys, going over some announcements with you. First of all, this Sunday after church, we're going to need some students to help deliver some spaghetti dinners from the kitchen to some cars and some pickup windows because we have our first fundraiser of spaghetti dinner to go towards Caswell. Guys, Caswell is not cheap. So we've got to make sure we are getting plenty of fundraisers done. That way we can get there and not have to pay as much. And then next, you gonna join? I got a partner. Then next Sunday, we have our movie night. One, we want you guys to come out and enjoy the movie night, but then we also want you guys to help participate in the popcorn station sale. We're gonna have some donations. We're gonna ask your parents to donate some stuff. We're gonna ask your parents to donate some stuff and that list is gonna go out here in a few days. But make sure you guys are showing up for these fundraisers so you can get some money to go towards Caswell. We love you. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome to Trading for Student Ministry Online. And we are starting a new series today called It's Personal. Now I am recording from my house. This is actually my laundry room slash office because there wasn't another place in my house to put an office. So it ended up being in my laundry room. Uh, you can see the kids are watching TV behind me in the other room. So the reason I was doing this here is because you know what? We're talking about it's personal. And my home is very personal to me. Uh, it's Yes, I invite people to my house a lot. And we have uh, dinners here. We have friends over. We have family over. We have students and student ministry over. Um, but my house is really personal to me. But I wanted you to see a little bit of the house. And I'm actually going to uh, throw in some uh, footage of my house right now. And so my house is really, you know, it's my home. It's personal to me. So something to remember as we are going through, it's personal. The way that I'm being personal right now, as much as I can in a video, God is personal with you. And this series is actually going to talk about for the next several weeks about how God is personal, that He knows you. So let's get started with It's Personal, week one. My name is Dylan and I am a senior at Lanier High School. I'm really into FCA and cheer and I'm gonna be sharing something personal. Okay, not that personal, just personal because you know, I'm a person and it means something to me. What most people don't know is my last name is actually Lao. It's Chinese while my family is mainly Filipino. My first name's a little different too because Dylan is usually stereotyped as a boy's name. But I really like my name because it makes me feel unique and empowered which is why it's kind of annoying whenever substitute teachers call me Dylan Leo. When someone uses my name and makes an effort to say it right, it lets me know that they actually see me and accept me for who I am. Maybe it doesn't sound like a big deal, but you can't really know me unless you know me as Dylan Lau. It's not just a name, it's personal. Relationships shouldn't be fake. When it comes to our relationships with our friends, with people we spend a lot of time with, we want real ones. When people know our names, it makes us feel like there's a connection between us and the person who knows our name. When it comes to people, the opposite of fake is personal. Some of you may have grown up hearing that God knows your name. Scripture tells us, indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. It's Luke 12, 7. While we all might think it's a little strange to know how many hairs are on our heads, some of us struggle with the idea that God really knows us. Fakeness is literally the opposite of how Jesus lived. 
Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Zacchaeus was a Jewish guy working for the Roman Empire, an entire nation that basically bullied the Jewish people. On top of that, tax collectors would always collect more than what was actually owed to, to, the, to the Roman Empire, and they pocketed the rest. At this point in Jesus' life, he had gone from being a casual carpenter, a carpenter's son, to being a big deal. He was known for all the miracles that he had performed, as well as the powerful messages he'd given. When Jesus came by, Scripture says, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down. I must be a guest in your home today. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. That's out of Luke 19, 5 through 6. Out of this uh, giant crowd following Jesus to Jerusalem and the giant crowd of people in Jericho just trying to get a peek of Jesus as he passes through, Jesus stops and chats with Zacchaeus, who is probably the most hated man in town. We care because this is a story about Jesus and how he treats people. Jesus made sure to know and use his name, Zacchaeus. And by the way, he does the same for you. The best thing for some of us to do this week is to to find a way to see for ourselves what Jesus is like. Zacchaeus is, uh, probably had no intention of totally changing his life when he first climbed up that tree to see Jesus. But he was just taking the first step towards seeing Jesus for himself. It's personal because Jesus knows your name. Know that. Jesus knows your name. Jesus changed the way everybody thought about God. Jesus knows your name. He knows you and he cares about you. But if that's true for you, that's also true for the person next to you and your siblings and your parents and that kid at your school that you try to avoid or that teacher that you just can't get along with. The people around you may not know God cares about them personally until you care about them personally. So a couple things to remember when you're trying to care about people personally. Learn their names, learn the right way to pronounce their names, and use their names when you see them. I know sometimes it's really strange whenever we are uh, with someone and they never seem to call you by your name. It's usually like, hey man, or you know, or just like a hey, or something like that to where it's not very personal. And it makes you like think, do they even know my name? Do they know my name? Do they, do they care? Am I just someone that is just here? Well, as Jesus knows our name, as Jesus knows us personally, the next part to this is for us to know other people personally. Knowing someone's name is the absolute simplest thing we can do to communicate that someone matters. Here in a little bit, I want you guys just to make sure that everyone in the room, uh, if you're in a, if watching this as a small group right now, I want you to say each other's name. Like introduce yourself, say your name, um, and then call people by names. Because we have a personal God. One of the greatest ways that we can point people to this kind of personal God is by being uh, personal ourselves, modeling what it's like to be personal with others. Jesus always made it personal with people around him. And you can too, by simply knowing their names. So as we are going into our small group time right now, and if you're watching this online, uh, make sure you reach out to uh, your small group leaders and because they will be talking to you as well through texting if you uh, weren't at youth tonight or if you don't have a small group leader at all just make sure that you uh, text the number below and what we will do is get you set up with a small group uh, leader but right now what you're going to talk about 
uh, you're going to discuss Zacchaeus. You're going to discuss what it's like to be personal as a believer in Christ. You're going to talk about what is this personal Jesus.